I promised myself I would make it through one full video this year before brazenly insulting viewers. Unfortunately, some promises were meant to be broken. So you think you've got problems? An expert panel of Japan's Nuclear Regulation Authority plans to issue a warning that a fault running under a nuclear, nuclear power plant on the Sea of Japan coast could be active. Right now, you no doubt want to utter aloud, wow, what an incredible year. An expert panel of Japan's Nuclear Regulation Authority plans to issue a warning that a fault running under a nuclear, nuclear power plant on the Sea of Japan coast could be active. The panel will include its finding in a draft report to be presented at its meeting on Monday. And NRA official Kunihiko Shimazaki and other experts are examining fissures beneath three nuclear plants, including the country's lone operating plant in Owe Town, Fukui Prefecture. The draft report will say an analysis of nearby strata suggests that a fault under the Tsuruga plant in Fukui that's been newly found in the government study might have moved sometime in the last 120,000 to 130,000 years. This means the fault meets one of the conditions to be declared as active. The report will add the fault's direction and other factors to indicate that it could be an extension of another fault running directly under the number two reactor. The report will add the fault's direction and other factors to indicate that it could be an extension of another fault running directly under the number two reactor. Based on the assessments, the report concludes the fault under the reactor might be active. The expert panel will submit a report to the NRA after hearing opinions from the operator of the Tsuruga plant, the Japan Atomic Power Company, in its next meeting. The company opposes the NRA's assessments, saying they have little scientific basis. And frankly, we'd all rather you just shut the fuck up, you uncomprehending halfwits. Government guidelines prohibit building key nuclear facilities directly above active faults. If the regulators decide that they will ban restarting the number two reactor, it would be the country's first restriction of a nuclear plant's operation since the NRA's launch last September. You couldn't make this shit up! Japanese researchers say residents of Fukushima Prefecture were not exposed to levels of radiation that would damage their thyroid glands. The researchers at the National Institute of Radiological Sciences attended a symposium in Tokyo on Sunday to explain the results of their study. The impact of radioactive iodine on the thyroid gland is difficult to detect as the substance quickly dissipates. The internationally permissible level is 50 millisieverts. The researchers studied tests conducted soon after the accident at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant and data on radioactive cesium to estimate the amount of radioactive iodine absorbed by residents in 12 municipalities. They also calculated the amount taken in by those in other places with a simulation that shows radioactive iodine spreading from the plant. They estimate one-year-old children in the area exposed to the highest levels received a dosage of up to 30 millisieverts. The estimate can be made more precise with data on the individual's movements at the time of the accident. And he's going to sit up there hypocritically and pretend like he cares about the lives of children. Give me a fucking break. North Korea's words and possible actions are raising the heat in East Asia. Along with threatening another nuclear test, authorities in the reclusive nation are promising more rocket launches. Japanese defense ministry analysts say the North now has a missile that could travel more than 10,000 kilometers far enough to reach the U.S. West Coast. North Korean officials say they used a rocket last month to put a satellite into orbit. But Japan and other countries believe they were testing ballistic missile technology. The defense ministry analysts say they believe something went into orbit, but they doubt it's a functioning satellite. They say they believe the launch involved an upgraded model of the Tepadong-2 ballistic missile. And they conclude North Korea's missile development has entered a new stage, something they're calling a grave concern for global security. Meanwhile, a South Korean nuclear analyst said on Wednesday, North Korea has the capability to conduct another nuclear test before too long. 
The documents released by the analysts show that the north has dug two horizontal tunnels two kilometers long within the Pungeri nuclear test site in northeastern North Korea. The analysts said that judging from satellite photos, North Korea could conduct a nuclear test before too long if its leadership makes that decision. Uh-oh, I didn't like the sound of that. Neither did I.